What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kurt's S7. Sorry if my voice sounds a little offbeat, it's cause I've got the flu, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the big transfer. LeBron James returning- Nah, I'm only joking. We're here to talk about Luis Suarez. His big move to Barcelona. I'm gonna straight up at the start of this video, I'm gonna tell you if you don't know already, just for more new subscribers, I am a huge Manchester United fan. I've been since I was about five. Uh, my parents are from there, my whole family is from there. As you can see, I've, I am through and through and biased Man United fan, and I'll die that way too. So, just you know. These are my opinions, you know, leave yours in the, in the comments down below. But anyways, Liverpool sell Luis Suarez to Barcelona for £75 million. Pounds. Fair play to Liverpool, man. It's a lot of coin. It's a lot, a lot of coin. But, man, Luis Suarez is a lot of trouble too. He is... My God, this guy just cannot keep his head out the headlines for the right reasons. Honestly. Uh, or the wrong reasons, I should say. He scores a hat trick one week, you know, he bites someone the next week. You know, he, you know, he, he does something fantastic one week. You know, he's racially abusing a black person the next. But uh, this guy, I'll be straight out, uh, straight out honest. Luis Suarez is my most hated player of all time. Now I've got a lot of hated players throughout my uh, years of watching football, but never have I seen a man just come into the Premier League and I've just hated him from day one. I've seen Luis Suarez in real life uh, when I went to uh, Anfield and uh, Liverpool beat United 3-1 and I saw him that day and the one thing I saw with my own eyes that did not get mentioned on the TV but I saw it on my with my own eyes straight after the game I went to see my cousin hey did you see what that, that cunt Suarez did? He pulled, and I mean pulled, Raphael's hair. Just pulled his hair. Who pulls hair? And no one talked about that whatsoever. Nate, that was just gone. He pulled his hair. I've seen it with my own eyes. And that was just water on the bridge. Ah, oh, mate, that guy. Mate, you know, even before he went to Liverpool, you know, he bit someone at Ajax, and we all know the Ivanovic situation, biting Ivanovic. Oh my god. So what does he do at the World Cup on the world's biggest stage where all eyes are on Uruguay? Mate, he goes and takes a chunk out of Chiellini. Oh my god, Luis Suarez. And yes, he did get suspended for, I think, eight games for Rachelie uh, abusing Patrice Evra as well. So this guy just, oh, mate, uh, honestly, it's a joke. It's a joke that he's a professional athlete. But, um, you know, every, every not just athletes, human beings can make one mistake, two mistakes, three. the third time's not a mistake. And unfortunately, that's why I hate Luis Suarez. Now, saying all that, the guy is a talented footballer. I've been watching football, like I've told you, since I was five years old. I'll be the first to tell you this lad is world class. You know, he, he's, he equaled the record last season for goals scored in a single Premier League season with Cristiano Ronaldo and Alan Shearer. And he missed five or six games. So, uh, without a doubt, he would have broken the record. Mate, he is world class, Luis Suarez. When he's on form, he's on form. He does go missing in the big games, don't, don't get it twisted, you know, against City, Chelsea, United, he does go missing, he's not your Thierry Henry, Alan Shearer like, but uh, he's, he's still got plenty of good years ahead of him, but uh, he does love his hat-tricks against Norwich and Southamptons and the lesser teams like that, but in saying that, the goals are there to be scored, he does score some crackers too, so... You know, I ain't denying him there. He's a talented, talented lad. Liverpool, can they replace him? Fair play to Liverpool. 75 million pounds. Uh, you know, who are they going to spend all that money on now? You know, they've got ch uh, Champions League football now. So they need a bigger squad. They've got the money now to buy it. Brendan Rodgers' job now just is... Pfft, Mate, five times harder now because he's lost their best player. Now he's got to, you know, fill two squads basically for the Champions League and the Premier League. And he's got to keep Champions League as well to keep all these players happy. So uh, it's going to be difficult for Liverpool next season. But in saying that, if Brendan Rodgers can get the right signings, the job could be made easier for him. But uh, what does that leave Barcelona? Barcelona now, <sighs> mate, just have a look at the top three. 
Neymar, Messi, and Luis Suarez. My God, my God. Can you imagine the Clasico next year if Real Madrid get uh, James Rodriguez? Can you imagine their top three for Real Madrid? Rodriguez, Ronaldo, and Bale. My God, what an El Clasico that will be. But Barcelona, what a team. You know, they lost Alexis Sanchez, went to Arsenal. But Luis Suarez playing with Messi and Neymar. Mate, they are... That's going to be some scary football there. That's going to be... I'm really excited to watch the uh, La Liga, the Spanish league next season. It's a good move for Luis Suarez. You know, he threatened to leave Liverpool so many times. He, he held Liverpool for ransom. Look at last season. He was going to quit, or he did quit, and then he re-signed. Liverpool made him a contract. They gave him a four-year deal. They gave him a, gave him a pay rise. Even though he was suspended for the first, what, I don't know... He got a 10-game suspension for Ivanovic, biting Ivanovic. I think he was suspended for the first five or six games. Yet they gave him a pay rise. But in the contract, Luis uh, Louis Suarez wrote, if Liverpool do not make uh, Champions League next season, he is leaving 100%. That was in his contract. But lucky for Liverpool, they made Champions League. Well, it doesn't even matter now because he's left. And uh, I kind of feel sorry for the Liverpool fans. Because Liverpool fans now, they feel uh, cheated on. Uh, I feel, mate, I've got heaps of mates in real life are huge Liverpool fans. They feel cheated on. And I don't blame them. Can you imagine supporting a player year in, year out? You know, no matter how bad he's doing, they're su uh, supporting him. As you do when you're a real football fan, you know, he's bitten players in the past. They're, su uh, su they're supporting him about that. He got suspended against uh, racially abusing Eva. They're still supporting him against that. Bite Ivanovic supporting him and all that. And after all these incidents, you know, he's always spitting here, diving there, cheating here. He's always doing these little gritty things, Luis Suarez. And they're supporting him week in, week out. And now he does this, does the dirty. And he goes and leaves for Barcelona. Now that they've got Champions League football, I feel sorry for Liverpool fans, you know. They feel cheated on. Don't blame them. And yes, you will get the odd Liverpool fan and say, Luis Suarez, thank you for your time. It was great having you while you're here. Get up, mate. It's not Carlos Tevez. Imagine me saying that about Carlos Tevez, about United. Oh, thanks, Carlos, for your time at United. You know, go mate. Tevez, mate. And, and that's what Liverpool fans, or true Liverpool fans, are, about, are doing about Luis Suarez. That's my opinion about the Luis Suarez transfer to Barcelona. Mate, Spain, you can have his headaches now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm your boy, Kota7. Take care. And peace.